beautiful lovelies it's Daya it has been a while since I did a full makeup look but we are here because we are going to be showing you Roman milk grocery collection I really wanted to challenge myself because it's just not a palette range that I usually would go to or use and this is the final look if you like it keep watching I am going to be showing you the cushion the palette the lip products as well plus a whole heap of makeup products that I've recently purchased this is a very very casual video it's literally me just trying all these new stuff whilst doing my makeup just chill out let's go so we are going to start with the new zero cushion and I use the shade natural 21 this is my first Roman cushion foundation and I have used this one a couple of times now and I really like it I'm gonna move my hair a lot comes onto the puff and so I just dab it a little bit here on the lid do those kind of points and I almost kind of like use it as a concealer and just put it on the areas where I would normally put concealer and then blend it out you'll see it is a little bit of a different environment today so empty I've moved house recently and just haven't really had the time to go through all my stuff and so the house is still such a mess it's got pretty good coverage like i got a really bad pimple here and it's starting to scar and if i just put someone there it does cover it pretty well it also has a really nice kind of natural finish with a number of cushion foundations that I've used in the past. I don't know, maybe it's the way that I prep my skin, like I'm not prepping it well enough, but sometimes when my skin's really dry, like around my nose or around my eyes, you can see the flaky skin and it looks really, really unpleasant. But this, it just makes my skin look really hydrated and dewy i actually really like this and the real reason why i actually got this is because if you buy this it comes with a little mini it is the same cushion foundation but in a mini size by now you know how i feel about small things and oh my goodness it is all functioning this tiny little i've used it a couple of times now and it's already drying up but it works because I carry around such small little bags and this is actually quite big it's so handy to carry around this tiny little one I can't deal I'd love it if they sold refills of this now our skin is done I'm going to move on to my eyebrows I got a new eyebrow pencil and mascara both from Roman as well it's kind of like a one brand look ish I got these before I went darker and it kind of worked out perfectly because these shades suit my hair so well this is the Roman Hanol sharp brow and it's in the shade mild woody I love it because it's got this spongy applicator and I use this first to fill in my brows just like really lightly twist 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 and then I brush it out and then I go in with the really really slim pencil and kind of like fill in gaps and this way works the best for me just because I like my brows to be quite natural looking and then I go in there with the brush again and blend it out again I'm going to move on to shading now and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks in Amber. I really enjoy. I just use it like here and here and on my nose like there, my lips. And I just like to blend it with my finger just because I don't want to mess with using brushes and shit. Do you see that? She just looks... You know okay now we're gonna move on to some blush before we go into the actual palette i got this wake make mix blurring volume blush just because the packaging is freaking 
stunning and i got the shade soft mute all the shades looked so good and i love their mixed blurring eye palette thing i don't know if you can see but it's like a gradient and i love that because you can kind of like use a combination of the whole thing or just use more this side or more this beigey kind of side it just doesn't really come up on my skin very well and although it's a nice subtle sort of blush i don't know if you can see that I'll do it on the other side. I am pretty heavy with my blush and I just feel like maybe I'm just not used to it, but it just doesn't do anything for me, to be honest. Which is a bit disappointing, but I think I'd like to experiment with it more. It really just mattifies my makeup. If anything, it kind of just looks like a powder. So let's move on to the eye palette. This is the palette, the Roman Better Than Palette in Dreamy Lilac Garden. It is very pretty. I personally have been using this palette like every day and every day I have a slightly different look because you just can do so many different combinations of vibes. Which brings me to the struggle that is today's look because I really don't know what kind of vibe I want. I think I want to show you as much of the palette as possible, focusing more on that lilac shade because that is you know, the palette and it's called Dreamy Lilac Garden. So let's try to make it as dreamy lilac and garden as possible. I'm going to first go in with this base color and just use it all over my lid. I'm also using the brush that came with the palette. I'm going to go straight in with this sort of mauve kind of color and use it on my eyelids as well but maybe just a little bit closer to the lash line and then like feathering it upwards and doing the bottom lashes as well yeah we like i'm going to use the smaller brush end and mix this shade and this shade together and just put it in my egg a bit right here and then blend that color and this one and use it on the outer corner here. I'm going to brighten up the look with this really pinky lilac pastel shade. And put it on the middle of my eyelid and sort of fan it around. Mm. That looks good. When I use this shade on its own, it doesn't really show up on my skin. Skin, but putting it over the top of what I've just done adds like a really nice soft lilac to it. So there are two glitter shades on this palette and they're both beautiful. First one is more of like a white shimmer and then the second one is... It's hard to explain. I don't know if you can see. That's the first one and then that is the second one. I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to use this one for my inner corners here and I'll drag it along as well and then we're going to use the other one and I'm going to start with the middle of my eyelid again and then blend it out mm -hmm. okay now I'm going to do something a little different I'm going to get this shade here and I'm going to use it on my bottom lash line and kind of blend it downwards a lot and I'm also going to draw my eye line with the darkest shade so just in the top corner wing it out in a corner and use what's remaining on the lower lash line as well I want the eyeliner to be quite soft so that's enough. I'm going to do something a bit rogue and use that shimmery shade again and just put it here and kind of drag it down. It's maybe a flop, but oh, you know what? That looks really good. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but when it hits the light, it just looks amazing. So all that's left now is this glitter, pretty much. It's definitely more glittery than shimmery like the other two shimmer shades. I will probably just add a little, like a couple of little dots, but not too much because I've obviously got a lot going on right now. It's really pretty though. I feel like we should move on to blush because my eyes are so intense 
and the rest of my face isn't. I want to maybe combine a couple of colors. I definitely want to use a little bit of this just on the balls of my cheek here. And maybe use this movie shade over the top. And I'm going to highlight now as well because I've got the palette here and I'm going to use my ultimate favorite at the moment. Put a little bit here on the bridge of my nose. Mm -hmm. Tip. A bit on my cheek here. Now I'm going to use a liquid eyeliner. This is the Etude Two Times Tinting Eyeliner in Soft Deep Brown. This is also really good for like faux freckles or beauty marks but i'm just going to use it on the edge here slightly wing it out as i said i don't want the eyeliner to be very prominent so i just want to make it really 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 subtle i'm also going to add some dots just going to add to my existing spot here and here and I'm gonna put one here as well I've just curled my lashes and now I'm going to use a mascara this is another Roman product it's the Hanol Fix Mascara in Long Hazel this mascara is really good if you want like natural looking lashes and it holds the curl in really nicely and gives your lashes really good length without making them look really clumpy. Especially like if sometimes you just don't really want to put any eyeshadow on or anything, you just want to put mascara on, this is the mascara you should be using. Like see, <gasps> do the bottom lashes. I've actually been really getting into making my bottom lashes really long and really thick and then doing less in my top lashes. Makes your eyes look really doe-like. Mm. The look has come together really nicely. To be honest, we were in the middle there and I was really, really scared that it wasn't gonna look good, but I'm really glad that it came through in the end. I've been using kind of the more muted matte shades as like a daily look, but if you wanna level up your look a bit, definitely would recommend not skipping on the glitter and the shimmer shades. Now onto the lip shades. So there's three Dewyful Water Tint shades and two Juicy Lasting Tint shades. And we are going to try all five of them and see which one will complete this look today. I'm going to start with the Dewyful Water Tints just because they are easy to, easy to remove. The packaging is sublime. So we'll start with the Cotton Melba. It is a really light apricot shade. And as per all the Dewy for Water Tints, it is quite glossy. Definitely doesn't go with the makeup look um, today, but I can see this being a really, really nice summer shade or a spring shade. The stain is medium, like all the Dewy for Water Tints. I've actually put a little bit of the foundation on my lips because I want the color to be as true to the shade. Hopefully this will give you a better idea of what the shades look like. This is Murma Pink. It is a really vivid pink, so not my shade. I really just don't know how this is gonna look on this face. On camera, it looks really beautiful, like a baby Barbie pink shade. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And the stain is actually much better on this one, just because like pinks usually stain a little bit better. Yeah, I don't love it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> okay, this is Lilac Cream. I think this is my favorite out of the three shades. It is definitely much softer than the Pink Murmur. Still has a lot of white in it, like it's still really light. Oddly, I don't like it as much as the other one. I don't know. I had to move you because it was getting really, really bright for some reason. So let's move on to the Juicy Lasting Tints. I actually like the formulation of the Juicy Lasting Tints much better than the Dewyful Water Tints. Like I'm obsessed with 
them. So I'll start with Papaya Jam, which is, I guess, the more warm tone shade. Mm. So good. It definitely doesn't go with the look today, but it's a really, really beautiful color. The last shade, my favorite. It is Bare Fig. Oh my God. It has combined like the two most popular shades. I believe it is so beautiful. Super pigmented as well. Like that was me wiping it off literally right after. I had to move you again because the light is just following me today. I really didn't want to have to pick that bare fig shade because it's just a little bit too predictable, but I can't not. Like it just looks so good. Anyway, this is the final look. I hope you liked it. Please let me know what you thought of the lip colors. Which ones do you like? Do you go crazy over the bare fig one like I do and like many people have so far? Thanks again so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!